Before I became a full-time writer, I took many writing courses, but most of the time, even online writing courses turned out to be pretty expensive. That's why when I came across this way of accessing a free online novel writing course that has helped me immensely in my writing journey, by the way, I got so excited and now I wanna share my secret with you. Basically, a little over a year ago when I started getting really serious about writing my novel and getting it published, I started searching online for tips and strategies on how to write a book and discovered the magic of AuthorTube. Now, for many of my subscribers who already know what AuthorTube is, I want you to hang in there with me for just a minute. But for any of you that don't know, AuthorTube is a subset of YouTube where writers and authors create channels called AuthorTube channels where they share their writing journeys and tons of writing tips, editing strategies, as well as the publishing tips and book marketing tips they've learned along the way. These are writers who are traditionally published like Kim Chance and Alexa Dunn, self-published like Bethany Atazada and Mandy Lynn, along with channels from author tubers like me who are currently knee deep in our manuscripts, taking you on the journey with us as we plot, write, edit, find critique partners, find and utilize beta readers, query, and pursue publishing and marketing our novels. Now, if you're wondering where this free novel writing course I promised comes in, I'm about to get there, so stick with me. As an aspiring writer myself, I gobbled up these videos. Not only were they free to watch as many times as I needed, but they were jam-packed with super helpful information and helped me not only feel like I wasn't alone, but the tips and experiences they shared made me feel like I could really do this. And because YouTube is awesome, the more I subscribe to AuthorTube channels and watched and liked and commented on their videos, the more YouTube learned that I love these kinds of videos and kept suggesting more and more helpful content. And here is where my writing course idea came in, you guys. Pretty soon, I wasn't just watching AuthorTube videos, but I also started taking notes because I was learning so much. And then as I did this, I was like, what am I doing? I could be saving and organizing all of these videos into topical playlists on my YouTube account. As you can see here, over this past year and a half or so, I've created tons of playlists for each stage of the writing and publishing process. Some of these playlists are on topics like writing tips, plotting tips, character development, editing and revising tips, querying tips, publishing tips, and author platform and marketing tips with tons of videos in each category. Some I've created because I was going through a particular part of the writing process and was searching for certain topics and saved videos I liked to a certain list. But many times I'll just check out what new videos the author tubers I'm already subscribed to have recently come out with in my subscriptions feed or what YouTube suggests on my homepage or on the side of the videos I'm already watching. And then I'll save the ones I'm interested in immediately to my watch later playlist if I don't have time to watch it right then. And I can do that on my desktop like this or on the mobile app like this. Then when I have a break or I'm just getting ready in the morning or cooking or cleaning or even driving, don't worry, I just listen to the audio at that point, I either put on my watch later playlist or another specific playlist and take in all the knowledge. It's sort of like a visual podcast, but with tons of different writers and their tips and experiences. I found this really great too, because although there are certain principles every writer should follow when writing a novel, there are all different strategies to plotting and writing and editing and so on. If you purchase a typical writing course from one specific writer, you only get their one perspective. But with AuthorTube, you have access to so many different authors at once for free, which means you can learn a bunch of different approaches, try them out yourself, and then figure out which one works best for you. And in that way, you sort of have a ton of different writing coaches at your fingertips. And voila, just by browsing and subscribing to AuthorTube channels, I can create a free online writing course that I have total control over, it's totally customizable, and it is continually growing because AuthorTubers are continually making more content. Plus, if there's a specific writing issue you're having, you can always ask your favorite AuthorTubers in the comments of their videos if they would make a video on that specific topic, and they probably will. And if you didn't know already, many AuthorTubers like me already organize their videos into topical playlists on their channels, so you can find exactly what you need when you need it. This might be helpful to check out before requesting a certain video because chances are your favorite author tuber might already have created a video on that very topic. Also, by watching these videos, you are supporting fellow writers and authors. 
and you get to be the first to learn about a bunch of new books that are coming out as those authors are getting published. Plus, you get to see all the behind the scenes of what it took to create that book. So whether you've been watching AuthorTube channels for a while, or if you're just hearing about it now, you may be wondering about how to find the best AuthorTube channels for you so you can start creating playlists and subsequently make your own free online writing course yourself. Well, because AuthorTube is not nearly as widely known as it deserves, some great channels can be hard to find. So if you want to take more advantage of this amazing free content so you can finally write and publish that book, I definitely suggest you start doing the following. First, make sure you're signed in to YouTube with an account so you can actually go ahead and create playlists. Then check out the link in the description below for a list of a bunch of my favorite author tubers that you can go ahead and check out and start subscribing to. Or if you want, you can just type in a writing question with the term author tube in the YouTube search box and see what comes up. After you've found some author tubers, then just start watching or saving videos that look helpful to you in your watch later playlist or start creating topical ones of your own. And then when you have some time, you can start watching or listening to these playlists and take notes if that's helpful too. Now this next step is the key, you guys. If you want YouTube to keep suggesting similar content to you, here are the ways you can signal to YouTube that you want them to start doing so. First, you wanna hit the like button on that video, watch the video all the way through, comment on the video, and subscribe to AuthorTube channels. And if you want to encourage us author tubers to keep creating and help other writers to find us, definitely share the videos you find most helpful with your writing friends or on your social media accounts and tell them all about AuthorTube. Speaking of, let's try all that out right now. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below sharing some of your favorite author tubers and how you're going to start creating your own free online writing course. Share this video with all your writing friends that need to know about this amazing free resource. And be sure to subscribe for more writing tips just like this one so you don't miss anything. In my year and a half of watching AuthorTube and now having my own AuthorTube channel, being a part of this online writing community has totally transformed my life and my writing career, which I shared all about in this video that I'll link here. And it continues to help me grow every single day. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the comments. And until next week, happy writing.